Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? So, match 30. This is the last contest uh, to determine who goes into the finals to fight Attribute 11 Philsops team. So, our two teams on top, we got Warriors of Light, which is by, made by Super Devon. We got Arvis the Lancer, Gunho the Priest, Wedge the Thief, and Luca the Oracle. Now, for our next team, we have Not Another Broken Team by Peter W1987, Jeffy the Geomancer, Monkey the Monk, Mitsubishi the Lancer, and Aeon the Summoner. Um, I'm giving the edge, being honest, to Peter because of the s Summoner from what we've seen. Um, however, as we've seen with Met Wedge numerous times despite being useless with throw for two matches, he's got charm. And with the pole smacking, I really don't know. I mean, I think if the charm connects, I think... Warriors of Light will be able to pull this off. If not, I'm going to give it to this, uh, the Peter, but we'll see. Um, the map we're going to go into is 125, the checkerboard stairs. It's kind of funny how these are, well, it's like a mini staircase. Well, it's a staircase, yeah, but look how big those, I mean, those are, those are giant stairs. It wasn't like elevated terrain, but yeah, so they're actually probably about 15 panels away from each other, and now here's the thing, even now because that thief has 10 speed and the summoner has 7, he, he should be able to get additional turn in before she charges her summon off. Meaning he, he should be able to interrupt it with a charm, that is if he doesn't die. But that's going to be uh, ultimately determined by uh, these next set of moves, and they're going to be crucial. So now the thief should be able to get- no! I wonder why she didn't go for it, really weird. Is the charm going to go, though? Yes, I think they're going to break the charm, though, with just a smack to her. Because remember, that summoner does have defense up, so even, like, throw or something, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Pitfall isn't really going to do shit. Um, 56 MP, that's all right. And Aether, just for the 20, okay. And she's still got plenty. And wow, that's a waste of a turn right there. That is not a good sign whatsoever for... Uh, it's not a good sign for uh, not another broken team at all. Because now she's just going to go wreck havoc on the Lancer, unless the Geomancer decides to break. Unless another charm goes, it could happen. Steel armor, nope. All right. So they all gain speed except the ninja. I mean, the thief. But that is actually probably for the better because now they're able to keep up with the ninja more easily. So right now, Warriors of the Life has a really good, uh, really distinct advantage. Charmed unit. They're in kind of sandbag mode. It's going to get broken. 28 damage. Damage split with the fist. That's a really good decision right there. Leviathan, it's 30 MP, but then again, it's a summoner. So MP really isn't an issue. That holy, or I should say, the Leviathan, however, was. Monk did get Dragon Spear, so he will be getting back up. Looks like a paralyzed hit and run. Really good move right, made by the Oracle right there. Monkey running away. Also a good move. Wedge, he's going to be stealing shit. 31% and wow, so there you go. 70 permanent HP down the drain. Now he's far more susceptible to damage. And he got a don't act, so this Lancer could just go probably for... No, no, the Priest. The Priest could go for that. However, he is not dead. He's going to survive with 12 HP. But you see the difference there. As opposed to having 82 HP, now he has 12. And he's going to be in critical. He's going to run away. So that does alter AI behavior. Now this Thief, is he going to interrupt the charm like I was mentioning earlier? No. He's going to go kill someone, though. Hmm. This is really interesting. Um, so he ran away and read, he ran away purposely. And that's a good idea because he didn't want to have uh, friendly fire. He didn't want to get his allies in the crosshairs. It's a good decision because right now it's a two on... It's a two on three, effectively. 40%, that's that of a coin flip. Um, I don't think the summoner can do it by herself because she's doing single panel targets. It depends, though. Uh, how much... Yeah, so 26 MP. That uh, the Oracle only has enough MP for one more spell, and it's going to be the lower-tiered one, such as uh, Shiva, Rema, Ifrit, whatever which ones she has. Um, so, not out of the game yet. It's a two-on-three. Warriors of Light still can come back from this. Um, 48%. Another coin flip. Oh, she does have MP... Oh, move MP up, I should say. Uh, is this going to hit? Yes, so two-on-four... Uh, it, it, it's going to be a tough pain in the ass. It's uh, going to be really difficult for them to come back from this. Uh, Warriors of Light. Um, the Paralyzes, sure. But now the Summoner 
she's just biding her time, and she's gonna eventually get it off on that uh, on that oracle. She's eventually gonna get off the summon and knock her out because of her 70 MP. And there's no way in hell that the oracle's gonna be able to do anything. Yep. So down to the Lancer. So despite despite the summons being single target for the most part, uh, so Peter is still able to get this off overall. Or I should say, not another broken team. But uh, yeah, I mean, Mitsubishi, he's don't move, and that's, there it is, right there. I love don't move with the jump. It's a perfect recipe for, oh, nice. He actually decided to stall for the last second. Pretty good move right there. Uh, that's 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 one of the beauty uh, beauties of jump, just being able to bypass all that damage and just basically laugh at the opponents trying to cast their summons on you. Uh, but again, permanent two on four. Don't see this happen. It and he's don't move. Keep that in mind. And our CT just passed. It's over. His first round. He's in critical. Earth slash. Voila. All right. I'll be seeing you guys for our small map. Yep. All right, so not uh, Warriors of Light. Their ass is on the line right now. Yeah, they got to make something of it um, in order to get back at this. That summoner just wrecking havoc. No petrify, which is a good thing for them. Jeffy going for another one, 20%. Nope, still doesn't get it. But 112 damage inflicted, so they're gonna uh, spend turns healing that thief up, not resurrecting him. 262 damage, so it could even up the odds right now, but. Uh, they still have the offensive initiative, I should say. Uh, now another broken team because of that jump going off. With a lancer, uh, with the lancer on a uh, warriors of light going off, jump is perfect. Speed save is gonna make it more difficult overall. But 84% warriors of lights. All right, so it looks like uh, let's see. It's it's, it's still kind of even in my opinion because now what's gonna happen is the summoner. They're all getting bunched up again. And the summoner, she's going to be able to target right on her own Lancer and hit like all four units. Look at that. Well, three of them actually. The only person that's not hitting is the Oracle. And uh, let's see how much damage. Yeah, okay, so two dead and that guy has 40 faith, so it makes sense why he didn't take as much damage. But another poke from the Lancer, I think, um, a Mitsubishi, and I think he'll be dead. Another 48%. Oh my gosh, that is really unlucky. Um, but again, look, they're getting bunched up, and with Shiva just being so fast, I don't think they're all going to be able to get out of it. The crosshairs. Well, MP switch taking a hit, pretty good. So there's still a chance. It's a it's it's a three on four, and the only way in which I could see this being done is if the summoner is taken out. I don't. It, it doesn't concern me how, but as long as it can be done. Uh, damn. Yeah, if they could take her out, I think uh, Warriors would like to get a chance, but... Wait a minute. Who's the summon being charged at? Is it being charged on the Lancer? If so, he should have just jumped out of the way. Nope, MP switch. Alright. I should say the Oracle. He moved out of the way. And is that the third one in a row? That is ridiculous how unlucky... Uh... But even so, uh... now another broken team still got that advantage. It's uh, really uh, surprising. There's the perfect recipe there for Demon Fire. No sleeps, but it's a two on three right now. 350 damage holy. I think that I think the summon's gonna go off. Never mind. Nope. I thought it would go off before the holy. Two on two. Uh, it's close. That Lancer's got speed save, and he can get a crystal and resurrect someone. So two on one, crystal. Oh, he was out of range. Too bad, but... Oh, my God. One-on-one. -on -one. Holy shit. Wow. All right. Now, if the thief... If the thief can grab the crystal, charm, he can get this. And he got it. Yes. So we are going to round three. That was... Uh, wow. That was the milestone right there that they reached it. Awesome right there. All right. Is he going to steal some shit in the process? Yep. Steal accessory. Doesn't get the... Uh, doesn't get the mantle, but it really doesn't matter at this point. Because three-on-one... I don't think they're going to be able to get that Lance, uh, the Oracle in time, I should say. But again, it's a three on one. There's no way in hell that she's going to be able to solve this, especially when he gets her armor stolen, and it's a permanent uh, HP loss. It's 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 extremely difficult. So accessory, wow. So two thirty percent evasion, two points of MA gone too. 
So the damage is even going to be less if she somehow gets a miracle shot in. Uh, poke! Oh, a crit, just for an insult to injury. Alright! Well, this is uh, pretty climatic so far. We're going to our tiebreaker. Yep! Here we go, at the Gate of Igros Castle. Uh, as you know, many of these are uh, tiebreaker maps, so these medium maps are not really displayed that often. That's why you're not seeing repeats of the these types of maps at all. Charm, miss, ouch. Okay, so Peter right off the advantage right away. And two petrifies, and a petrify proc. So right away, uh, Peter's got the advantage because they have to go in sandbag mode with uh, curing, curing the spell. And all right, that was a dodge, but again, I think the Oracle is, uh, I should say the Summoner is going to be going for that uh, Thief right away. And the Thief's going to gangbang him along with the Oracle. Uh, double panel haste? Uh, we'll see though. Alright, so 241, the Thief's fucking dead. Unless he can get a charm off again. He does have that 10 speed like I mentioned earlier, so he should be able to get it off. Why did he steal it? Is he going to survive? Because that 1 MA is going to go, 2 MA, because she's got a wizard robe. She, he might survive barely, but I don't know. I can't do the number damage numbers. All right, so petrify Bahamu. Is he gonna live? That's the big question right now. Two MA down the drain. No, he doesn't. He died by by like five HP or something. So a forty damage decrease, but he still got one shot. At holy shit. So petrify. Wow. So really, that was too bad that the charm missed. I mean that that. I think the charm in the beginning would have been the clincher, but. Um, yeah, Summer Magic just kicking ass this whole tournament. No joke. Um, more Petrifies. Uh, they don't go off. One kill. It's... Uh, we'll see. But the Oracle's still... I mean, I shouldn't say the Oracle. The Summoner, she's just still right there. And the two sleeps. Oh my god. Yeah. So really, it's a four-on-one right now with the Oracle being alive. Yeah, there's no way... Yep. Wait, she can break it. All right, good move, but still, three on one. I don't think she can pull it off. Yep, dead unit. And punched, yep. I don't know. Um, it, it's it's tough. I, I the, oh, fuck. I don't think they can come back from this. I think it's I think it's over, yeah. Three on, three on two. Uh, one unit asleep, the other in critical. And she's going to get mid-charged. And, oh, MP switch, all right. Taking it like a champ, taking it like a beast. Speed save, I don't think that the Arvis is going to be able to solo this. There's no way in hell. I mean, yeah, he's got a lot of HP and the Summoner's down, but... The the, the Lancer and the Monk still have vi can do viable amounts of damage by themselves. They can still do shitloads. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, anti-sandbag, the Lancer can be able to jump now. And she's going for the Geomancy. Also perfect anti sandbag and a frog. So I think that's her like second frog in the tournament or something, but yeah, so it's over. Um, so it looks like it's going to be uh, attribute 11 and not another broken team in the finals. Congratulations, GGU2. And yeah, uh, wow, Warriors of Light, Jesus Christ. I've recorded like 12 matches, it's like three hours in. Warriors of Light, you'll be going down to the loser's bracket. Hopefully you'll prevail. We'll see.